Hey everyone, this is the starting position of the uh, Fianchetto variation in the King's Indian. White skips knight c3 and e4 and uh, plays g3, bishop g2 and knight f3 and castles so that he wouldn't fall behind in development. Now both sides have castled and uh, Fianchettoed the king's bishop and developed the knight. So um, any normal ideas uh, by black in the king's indian don't work because white's king side is stronger. And here we have this c and d pawns against black's c7 and d6 pawn. So let's see what happens. Black's uh, most usual moves are knight d7 or knight c6. If knight d7 then a common continuation is knight c3, e5, e4. Here black can take on d4 or play c6 or a6. If he takes on d4 then he usually plays rook e8 and uh, white prevents knight g4 and black goes for b5 supported by rook b8 and also c5 and it's called the uh, Gallagher variation or at least uh, that's what a6 signals so let's look at the other most common reply knight c6 here a very um, popular continuation is knight c3 d5 knight a5 hitting on the vulnerable c4 pawn which is the weakness of this fianchetto variation the bishop is not protecting it and uh, here b3 apparently is okay. I thought it would weaken this diagonal, but um, I would be interested to know what could happen here. If black tries a discovered attack, then white can just take it, and uh, this is um, this is good for white. He's hitting the knight. Oh, that's an exchange, and there's even this check. Okay, so yeah, this this got really tactical. So I guess b3 is also okay, but here you should just um, knight d2, c5, queen c2. Rook b8, b3, b5, bishop b2, and exchange on c4, bishop h6, and here f4. Note that e4 is a e3 is a mistake because of bishop f5, and here white loses the c pawn because if, if he plays something like Knight e4, and black exchanges, um, exchanges again, and now black can just take the pawn because if queen takes the knight, then b2 bishop is hanging. So now black is just up a pawn. He has a passed pawn, and uh, and so on. Well, white can get one too, but um, I don't know. And um, if white plays like queen c1, trying to keep all the strings together, then black just plays bishop d3 and the c pawn falls anyway. So that's why f4 and here e5. This is where the game usually goes after knight uh, c6. 
and let's explore a little bit. Oh, sacrificing quality and probably regaining it. Or maybe not, and this is better for white, so... <clears throat> so was Rook takes B2 really best here? Black can also just take on D5 and play Knight G4 and uh, Perhaps this is more sensible. Yeah. Okay, so just covering some of the basics of the Fianchetto variation and uh, There are still some some other uh, <coughs> variations in the King's Indian, but like uh, playing Knight E2 to G3 and stuff like that. But I don't think I'm gonna cover those. And this is um, probably the last video about King's Indian. Thanks for watching. Take care.